Michel Foucault's The Archaeology of Knowledge and The Discourse on Language are seminal works in the field of post-structuralist thought, offering a unique perspective on the nature of knowledge, language, and power. In these texts, Foucault challenges conventional notions of truth and knowledge, advocating for a radical re-evaluation of the ways in which we understand and analyze discourses. One of Foucault's central arguments is that knowledge and language are inherently tied to the historical and social context in which they exist. He rejects the idea of a universal, timeless truth and instead argues that knowledge is shaped by specific historical conditions. In The Archaeology of Knowledge, he describes the method of archaeology, which involves excavating and analyzing discourses in their historical and contextual specificity. This method is a departure from traditional approaches to knowledge, which assume the existence of a stable, objective truth. Instead, Foucault invites us to consider knowledge as a product of discursive formations that are contingent on historical and cultural factors. Foucault's emphasis on the historical and contextual nature of knowledge challenges the idea of a single, unchanging reality. He contends that our understanding of reality is constructed through discourses, and these discourses are in constant flux. This perspective is deeply influenced by his rejection of the traditional, transcendental subject, a notion that has historically underpinned many philosophical and scientific discourses. In Foucault's view, there is no singular, rational subject that stands above and beyond discourse to access objective truth. Instead, knowledge is created through the interplay of discourses and their associated power dynamics. The idea of power is central to Foucault's analysis. He argues that power is not a monolithic force imposed from above, but rather it operates in a diffuse and pervasive manner throughout society. Power is intricately linked to the production of knowledge, as it shapes the boundaries of what is considered acceptable discourse. In The Archaeology of Knowledge, Foucault explores how knowledge and power intersect by examining the ways in which discourses are regulated and controlled. He suggests that power exerts influence not only by silencing certain voices but also by establishing the rules and norms that govern what can be said and thought within a given historical context. In The Discourse on Language, Foucault delves further into the relationship between knowledge and language. He argues that language is not a neutral tool for expressing pre-existing thoughts but is intimately connected to the formation of thought itself. Language structures the way we perceive and think about the world, and different historical periods have distinct linguistic structures that influence the possibilities of thought. Foucault introduces the concept of the statement as a fundamental unit of discourse, highlighting how language is organized into specific configurations that determine the acceptability and intelligibility of certain statements at particular times. Moreover, Foucault examines the historical development of linguistics and its connection to broader epistemological shifts. He critiques the notion of a pure, unmediated language and emphasizes that language is always entangled with power and historical contingencies. Language, for Foucault, is a dynamic system, continually evolving and adapting in response to changing social and cultural contexts. He argues that this dynamic nature of language challenges traditional assumptions about linguistic stability and the possibility of achieving unambiguous meaning. In both texts, Foucault challenges readers to rethink their understanding of knowledge, truth, and language. He encourages a critical engagement with the ways in which power operates within discourses and urges us to consider the historical and contextual factors that shape our understanding of the world. Foucault's work has had a profound impact on fields such as literary theory, cultural studies, and philosophy, as it provides a framework for analyzing the complex interplay between knowledge, language, and power. In conclusion, Michel Foucault's The Archaeology of Knowledge and 
the discourse on language present a radical departure from traditional conceptions of knowledge and language. He argues that knowledge is inseparable from its historical and social context and that language is not a transparent medium but a powerful force that shapes thought and reality. By introducing the method of archaeology and examining the relationship between knowledge and power, Foucault challenges established epistemological and linguistic paradigms, opening up new avenues for critical inquiry and analysis in the realms of philosophy, literature, and the social sciences. His work continues to be a source of inspiration and debate in contemporary scholarship.